Mina, Kambanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Joshua chapter 18, verse 3. Still in the middle of Israel's borders being determined and who gets what land, all that fun territory right there. So lots of that in the upcoming chapters. I'm going to keep trying to point things out that are unique and individual. I've already said how a lot of this, it applies to a few select people like archaeologists, paleontologists. It helps us determine, you know, actual historical value that this stuff is real. I'm going to try to focus on things other than just repeating that over the next several chapters because I always scan ahead. That's going to be there for a few chapters. So let's see if I can't dig a little something out of these chapters. Something that's a little more <clears throat> practical. Something that just me and you can kind of get a hold of. So in verse 3, Then Joshua said to the children of Israel, How long will you neglect to go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers has given you? I don't feel like I really need to say anything past that. To me, that verse really hit home. The land is yours. The Lord's given it to you. How long until you go and possess it? The, there are many promises in the Bible that apply to all of us believers. There are many things that we can count on. There are many things that we can be assured of, like heaven when we die, of judgment when we die, of, um, we, of, of the assurance of Him never leaving or forsaking us now, assurances of His healing and protection, and judgment on sin and justice now. Those are all promises that we have. Those are things that He has given to us. And there is a place that he wants us to go. There are things he wants us to do. Um, the New Testament talks about the good work which he has prepared for us to do. He's already given something to us. We need to stop sitting around and we need to go out and get it. I'm 35 years old and it took me quite a long time to really go out and claim something of my own. And even if it's only a little tiny spot on YouTube, um, I'm going to try to make it a lot more than that. I have other plans. I've discussed that briefly before. There are things that I'm going to try to possess, but the Lord's not just going to hand them over to me. I've got to fight. The Lord promised those things to me. He wants me to grab them. And He's given me the ability and talents to get them. Now, I need to do my part. I need to put in the work and the labor and learn. Like how to do proper audio editing and stuff like that, for example. Hopefully, this is maybe it's only a little echoey and it's not reverbing horribly. That's what I'm hoping. So, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to keep on looking into that. I'm going to keep fighting until I get it, until I persevere and overcome. And whatever it is you're facing... You do the exact same thing. You keep fighting. You keep going forward. You keep grabbing a hold of that which God has called you to. To that which you know God wants you to have. Whatever that may be. Big or small. It doesn't matter if it's from Him. Grab it. It's yours. Don't continue to wait on the things the Lord has promised you. I love you guys. God bless.